How's it going guys, LJ here for Unity Tech and I have a quick unboxing, it's not really a real unboxing because I, yesterday I got the um, Gears of War 2 and Halo Wars, I know it's, they've been out for quite a while now but uh, I decided I have Gears of War 1, never been a huge fan of it, it's still a great game amazing graphics but I've never been a huge fan and Halo Wars, I'm a huge fan of Halo uh, I didn't really at first I didn't really like the idea of uh, of your controlling your troops and all that stuff but it was rated a 9 on uh, gamer informer I think I believe that's what it's called and um, so I was uh, I had to try it. I have a Halo 1 2 and 3 I have to keep going on the saga on the thriller of Halo uh, what else do I have? Uh, I have this, Office for Mac, 2008. This is the Home Student Edition. I have uh, pages on my Mac right now. You can um, export files from pages into a .doc file, but it's not complete. You still have some problems, like some pictures might not load and stuff. So um, I still got Office for Mac. I think uh, if you, if for example, because I'm going to university next year, and uh, if I have to do some work and my data is not loaded on, or if I forget to save it as a Word file or something, uh, I don't want to get in any trouble. So this is probably gonna be pretty straightforward. It's only software, so let's open it up. I've never actually opened this before. I've opened a 360 controller. And all this stuff, but never Mac software. First time, actually. I've you seen my earlier videos. I just recently got my Mac there. And actually, I don't know if you can see the screensaver of uh, the windows floating around. Um, I actually do a. I'll do a uh, a video about all my my themes on my iPhones uh, and all, um, all this stuff, and I'll show you. This is actually called Fenêtre Volante. It's a. Uh, it's uh, it's actually I don't know what has a French name. I don't know if it's for, made by a French guy or something. Cause on their site it's still in English, so I don't know why. But uh, so the box straightforward. Just get install install guide. Straightforward, pretty small guide actually. And just the CD. It's actually pretty boring. <laughs> As you know, it's only software. Let's just put this to the side. Hey, Wars. I'll open it up. Actually, at the end of the video, I'll show you this that I just got. This is the Sound Blaster Audio G S E by Creative. Uh, I got this at Fry's, and actually, I recently, well, recently, last year for my birthday, I got a uh, Alienware, which is an amazing machine. It's quad core. It's, I love it. But uh, I was actually pretty disappointed because, <clears throat> sorry guys. Um, the sl the headphone jack slot at the back on the motherboard broke. I never even touched it because it's at the back of the computer. So you just plug it in and you just leave it. And suddenly one uh, one morning I didn't have sound on my computer, so I was kind of worried. And then I plugged it in the front of the computer and it worked. So the the slot at the back on the motherboard is fried. So and I can't really send it back because it's not. A, I didn't. I'm not. I don't live in the U.S. at the moment. I should be. Moving next year, uh, next year, or even this year, at the end of this year. Um, so I can't really send it back because it'll cost me like five hundred dollars of shipping. So even more probably. So actually, wait, I was just going to do the games, but um, so I'm actually for Alienware. I've, I know Dale is known to be pretty. I know their some of their machines break down, but uh, for what I paid for the Alienware, I hope that. Uh, Nothing of that sort would happen, but I guess it did. But still, I wouldn't. I wouldn't judge on on Alienware. It's still a, a amazing, absolutely amazing uh, PCs they make. Best gaming PCs of, out there. So quick star guide. Oh, actually, it's not a quick star guide. It's uh, just a guide of the entire game. So I'm actually, I have a, a 28 inch monitor at home. And I'd actually really love playing on this, but right now I only have a smaller TV. Because this is the kind of games you really want to play. 
uh, on a big TV, big ass TV, because all of the strategies and stuff you can see there. So there you go. How about Gears of War? I don't know how many of you guys are friends of Gears of War. I don't know. I just do a whole. I. It's not the whole gore and and all this stuff because I love the zombie mode. That's like best best game ever. The zombie mode on that in COD Five. But uh, I don't know. I just I'll try it. But uh, I'll give you my opinion after. What's that? Download the exclusive flashback map pack. Oh, cool, actually. I don't know if you have to pay for that on online, but uh, I think I get it for free here. Or maybe it's just uh, five free maps and 48 hours of Xbox Live Gold. That's pretty cool. I have a, a yearly subscription, so. Actually, Fable. I re I've hesitated a lot in buying Fable. I know my friend has it, and he loves it. But I don't know. It's just... It's not my kind of game. I like games with action and all that stuff. I only, really, I did play a lot of um, uh, Age of Empire on PC a while back when I was 12 or something. But uh, as you can see there, you always get this. Uh, it's one thing that Gears of War invented, I believe, where you just, well, invent maybe not invented, but in a, a good, a very uh, helpful way for in the game where you can dodge. Uh, and jump behind uh, blocks of wood and and uh, and rock and like, to hide so you don't get shot and stuff. So I'll also give you a review of that when I play it. And for the sound blaster, let's see it. I've never actually opened a a uh, sound card before or any card. So I'll believe it. It's just gonna be straightforward. And if you guys want to buy, it depends if you're in uh, into music. Well, if you make music, uh, if you're a, a uh, actually I got a blank. You're a music designer. Yeah, guess I'll just call it that. Um, but then you want a, a very expensive and good sound card. But if you're just like me, you l I do. I love music. I listen to music every day. Music is almost my life. But uh. But look, it cost me 30 bucks at um, fries. But when you think about it, the sound card you get implemented on the motherboard. This is probably 10 times better than the one you get on the motherboard itself. And it was already really good. So you don't need to get a $100 or even $80 sound card. As long as you... Uh, it will always be better than what you get uh, from the motherboard. So there it is, creative. So I actually don't have my computer with me right now, as I said earlier. So I'll have to uh, bring this back home and put it in, hoping it works. Let's put it back. Yeah, be careful with this; it's pretty fragile. I'm actually getting close to the end there. It's almost like ten minutes. It's actually good. Time goes by fast when you unbox. So I oh, yeah, get uh, some. Never read that. Just, obviously, you get free stuff, but you never really do. Creative MP3 audio pack. Oh, uh, and then you get a a CD. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know. Just wanted to do a little update of what I got yesterday, and uh, I'll do probably reviews later on. And uh, I might I might do a comparison of the sound I had before on the the motherboard. And now with the sound card, I'll tell you if it's if it's better, if it's worse, how it is, if it's the same. So, hey, you guys, have an unboxing coming up after of this, and I'll tell you all about it in the next video. All right, it's LJ for Unitech signing out. Peace.